Hi, I'm Mark Boss and this is In Car TX. So we're now at the sharp end of the uh, World Cup Rugby 2007 Championships. England playing France in the semi-finals for a place in the final. What a cauldron the Stade de France is going to be. It's going to be immense. The tension on the players this week has been just enormous. In fact, I'd say the tension and the pressure on the players for the whole championship has been immense. Rob Andrew has gone on record saying that uh, he thinks no other team in history has had so much pressure put upon them. And I would sort of agree with that. I don't think that's too over the top. After that, uh, uh, let's say, disappointing or downright awful performance against the Springboks, where we lost 35-0 uh, or whatever, we look completely outplayed and outclassed and uh, pretty much on our way home. So we really had to play a great game against the Samoans and the Tongans, etc. But uh, we're there, we've made it. We've beat the Australians in the quarters to get where we are now, playing France. And uh, we can do this, we can win. What I've certainly seen and what is so important in, uh, in rugby is that each and every one of those players has incredible confidence and has grown in confidence uh, in their own ability, but in many ways more important than that, in the ability of the team to win. No one player can go out there tomorrow and win that match. It is about 15 players giving 120% to beat the French. And we have the skill, we have the, uh, uh, the belief in ourselves to do that. And uh, I think we, uh, we're going to do it. And we are going to make uh, rugby World Cup history because we will become the first ever team to defend its title so an immense game tomorrow and um, I along with thousands and thousands of others will be watching I've also heard that uh, O2 are opening up the dome down in London to be the biggest live event um, sort of screening of the game and they're expecting something like 20 to 30 thousand people just there alone something in the region of 40 to 50 thousand English supporters are in France now are in Paris uh, I don't know how many of those have got tickets but uh, best of luck to them I know also that um, a lot of uh, Kiwis were coming in to um, to London this week um, in the belief that they would be uh, having travelled by the way 13,000 miles but in the belief that they were going to be watching their team in a semi-final well that is not the case but of course they've had the tickets so uh, there was a lot of English supporters at uh, Waterloo I believe who were looking to uh, purchase tickets off those uh, Kiwi supporters but uh, would you have travelled 13,000 miles to give up your ticket? Um, I'm not so sure maybe if you got a really good price for it but um, I'm not so sure but uh, whatever it is we are in for an immense game of rugby tomorrow England will win it'll be tight it'll be narrow um, we cannot afford to make any mistakes one of the big things that came out of the Australia game was that not only did we have an awesome game in every part of the field especially up front against those uh, big Aussies and we just completely whitewashed them but um, we played intelligent rugby uh, we didn't give away too many penalties and that is key tomorrow as well because if we give away penalties they will put points on the board and uh, it will start feeling like it's getting away from us so we must play a very tight game and uh, every man must be uh, on his uh, absolute top of his game but um, it's it's going to be an incredible atmosphere and an incredible game of rugby so um, the final who will be the final well I think it'll be against Argentina I really do think they can beat the Springboks but for now I'm concentrating on England versus France and England beating France in Paris in the Stade de France this is in TX and I'm Mark Boss